Hello and welcome back guys. Welcome to our new video. Today we're going to have a look on some different types of pronouns, especially two of them. And also we will know when to use I and when to use me, when to use they and when to use them, when to use we or us, he or him. So stay tuned. Welcome back again. If this is your first time to watch our channel, that means you didn't subscribe to the channel. You can go now, subscribe and click the bell in order not to miss any of our new videos. And now let's get started. Subject and object pronoun. This is our lesson of today. So now let's start with the subject pronoun. What is the subject pronoun? Subject pronouns used as the subject of the sentence. Wow, what is this? It's very easy. Subject pronoun always come in the beginning of the sentence. So if you're searching for the subject pronoun, search in the beginning of the sentence. Take care of this. I didn't say the beginning of the line, but I said the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Subject pronoun is the doer of the verb. Subject pronoun is someone who did the verb. So the doer of the verb is the subject pronoun. Okay, let's have a look on uh, some examples. Rita likes books. She loves them so much. Of course, as you see, she here, this we have a new sentence. The first sentence is done. We have a new sentence, so we use a pronoun in the beginning of this sentence. So this is a subject pronoun. So in this sentence, she is the subject pronoun. It replaces Rita. So, and instead of repeating the noun or the proper noun that we have, so we use the subject pronoun. Here is a list of the subject pronouns. If for the singular, we use I, we use you as a singular. We also use he or she or it. For the plural, we use we, you, and they. And this is very important to know if it's singular or plural because you should have a subject verb agreement in your sentence. And if you don't know what the subject verb agreement is, so there is a video that will appear now on the top of this video that explains the subject verb agreement. You can go and watch it now. Memorize these subject pronouns because if you don't memorize them, it's very difficult to know them. So you have to memorize them. Okay, so now let's have some questions. The first one, my friend helped me with my problem. He is so helpful. Where do you think the subject pronoun is here in this sentence? Of course, the subject pronoun in this sentence is he. Okay, so it's very easy. The subject pronoun, you need to memorize the seven ones that we said before, which is I, he, she, et, we, you, they. Okay, now from sentence two till the end of this exercise, I will give you three seconds for each one to find the subject pronoun. Two, they have been happy. Three seconds. Very good. The answer is they. Now for question three, she wrote me a message. Three seconds. Exactly. The answer is she. Now, question four. I have read a lot of books. Three seconds. I. Very good. Now, we're done with the subject pronoun. Now, let's move to the object pronoun. An object pronoun is the receiver of the action. An object pronoun is something that the action happens to. Okay, now let's look at this. It always comes after the verb of the sentence or the preposition. What are prepositions? I will mention some of them here. It's like to, of, for, at, with, and etc. So these are some prepositions. So after the verb or after the preposition, if you find a pronoun, that means that this pronoun is an object pronoun. Okay? 
This means that the object pronoun could be the predicate of the sentence, and if you forgot about the subject and the predicate, so there is a video that will appear on the top now, so you can watch and revise what the subject and the predicates are. The object, it's also either the object of the preposition or the direct object. When we say the direct object, we mean that it's the object of the verb. Let's have some examples. The cartoon amuses Olivia. The potatoes flying everywhere amuse her too. So where is the object pronoun in this sentence? It's her. In this case, her is the object pronoun. Her replaces Olivia. Instead of repeating the proper noun again, we use the object pronoun instead. Okay, now the object pronouns we have here a list of the object pronouns. We have singular pronouns and plural pronouns. Me, you, her, or him, it, us, you, and them. Okay, also you need to memorize these ones to make it easy for you to find them in these sentences. Now, let's have a look on some examples. Let's find the object pronouns only. If you find a subject pronoun, it's not our job to find it or to circulate. Robert trusted him much. Of course, the object pronoun here that comes after the verb is him. Now, from question two till the end of this exercise, I will give you three seconds for each sentence to find the object pronoun. He also loved them and cared about them. Three seconds. Very good. It is them and also we have them here. So we have two object pronouns. They are the same. The next one. The queen couldn't stand it. Three seconds. Very good. The verb is stand and this is the object pronoun. Now, let's go to the next one. It also teaches us about human nature. Three seconds. Very good. The verb is teaches, so the object pronoun is us. Okay. Congratulations, you have mastered this lesson. And before you leave us and go, if this is your first time to watch our channel, that means you didn't subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.